Welcome back to an, another Waffle Wednesday where we will work with wonderful ingredients. That was a, fail, a failed attempt at alliteration. I am illiterate. Hi everyone, welcome back to Waffle Wednesday. We're going to do something today, well, tonight, uh, in the kitchen with some waffles. Big surprise there. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make some tofu nuggets in the waffle press. So uh, sit back, grab a uh, drink, some refreshments, and uh, and get, get ready to watch the video. I'm brimming with confidence right now. So you'll be asking yourself again, why are we making tofu nuggets when, you know, there are so many other things we can make in a waffle press. I think it's a, a nice healthy alternative to, we've had tofu uh, in our family where we cook tofu nuggets in a lot of oil in a pan. It tastes really good, it's nice and crunchy, but it's quite unhealthy. So we thought, well I thought it would be a good idea to try cooking it in the waffle press, use less oil that way, and you still get that good crispy result. And it turns out pretty well actually. So, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit different, maybe bring it to a party, use it as a talking piece, you know, you could set this out on the table with some sweet chili sauce and uh, some old girl might come up and look at it and say, oh, is, is that a waffle with raspberry jam? And you can say, no, it's a vegan tofu nugget, you dumb bitch. You're gonna be the life of the party with this, is what I'm saying. Like this is why we don't go to parties, all right? First thing you're gonna do is just get your tofu out, give it a good wash, and, uh, and give it a good squeeze. Like, I mean, look at all that liquid that's in the tofu. You don't wanna have, uh, you don't wanna have that coming out in your waffle press. So the solution is to add more liquid to it, and then squeeze it. Once you've done that, you're going to want to slice up your tofu into some nice, easy to cook slices. I'll show you that in a moment. I like to do mine into long slices, so you can get like three in the pan at a time. And then we're going to make our batter, which is basically just a, you know, a standard tempura batter. There's no hard method for what you should put in here. You can put in whatever you like, I put in herbs and flavors. This is where you, you're going to add flavor to the nuggets. So this section is called put in the things that make it taste nice. I know it's a, uh, it's a very complicated title, I'm working on that, but it, it says what it is. So as a base, you're gonna have flour. I'm gonna use gluten-free flour, not because I'm gluten-free, but because people in my house are, they enjoy eating food and, and not just watching me eat it, so I'll do that. And also because gluten flour has um, like, almost like a corn flour texture to it, so it helps make the batter nice and crispy. And so for every cup of flour that I'm gonna use, I'm also gonna add a half teaspoon of baking soda just to help it rise. And then the other, core ingredients that are kind of really important for the batter uh, to have something to help activate the baking soda so I'm going to use apple cider vinegar I'm going to use a good tablespoon of that and then also having cold water and then you can go pretty much as crazy as you want if you've got dill chuck some dill in you're going to have to put in some salt some pepper you can put in garlic powder if you have it paprika goes really nicely I'm going to add some turmeric for color uh, and I'm also going to add some other herbs. You know, cow, I always add cow cow with everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put cow cow in this, you can bet. And maybe a little bit of mustard powder as well, just to really set off the flavor. I didn't give a lot of instructions about exactly how much water to add, and that's because it's kind of a touch and go. There's, there's not a direct science to this. You wanna get it to a thick, batter-like texture so that it's gonna hold together nicely. This is too thick. I want it to be a bit thinner than that. Kind of what, uh, I think my wife said pikelet thickness. Is that right, honey? Pikelet thickness? Round about pikelet thickness. If you don't know how thick a pikelet batter should be, just stop now and just go home. This isn't gonna work with you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, just turn it off. Turn it off! I wanna taste your content, hold your breath and feel the tension. Okay, welcome back pikelet army. Everyone who's still here knows the thickness of a pikelet. I'm glad. It's kind of the, uh, Still, still too thick, I would say. Luckily, we're making a hell of a lot of these nuggets, so it's good that we've got quite a lot of batter. Okay, so we've managed to progress the batter to, I think, what is the right thickness. Again, it's hard to describe this over video to you guys, so I guess the best way to describe it is, imagine if you were to run your hands through it, you'd immediately regret that decision. That's the kind of thickness you want it to be at, um, if that makes any sense. We want that to be nice and hot, so uh, we'll get that going first, and then we're gonna deal with this tofu and get it all nice and chopped. 
Now the trick to cutting tofu is to use a knife uh, like this. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, I've got this all nice and chopped up. I had to be very precise because I'm catering to a particular amount of people. Uh, so I've got that chopped up to hopefully have 55 nuggets once I chop each of these in half, which I'm gonna let the waffle press kind of do anyway. So uh, let's flip that bad boy over and get ready. So I mentioned before that we're gonna use less oil in cooking it in a traditional pan, but we are still going to use some oil. Um, so this one's got a cool little dripper. Check this out. It's going to need a very small amount just to get it going. Um, but once you get the first batch cooked, there'll be a lingering amount of oil in there and you won't have to worry about it anymore. You'll be all, you'll be all good after that. So the batter will expand depending on how uh, efficient you want to be versus presentation. You could cook just two at a time in this size pan, or I'm going to do three and just cut them apart. So I'll let them stick and I'll separate them later. And this way I can just cook them a little bit faster because I've got stuff to do, you know? So if you notice that things start sticking in the pan, just chuck a little bit more oil in there. Uh, if you're noticing that you're starting to run out of batter before you finish the job, just add more water, more flour, um, keep it going, keep it alive. Um, and you know, if you don't want to cook tofu, if you want to cook chicken tenders, uh, if you want to cook, you know, something else, if you want to cook strips of banana, it's just a concept I'm selling you here. It's not, it's not a direct ingredient, you know, this is just an idea. Your food can still be waffles. So I've finished cooking all of the, the tofu nuggets here. Um, I've slightly undercooked them because the idea here is that I'm going to slather them in some hot sauces and then I'm going to uh, put them in some bags overnight in the fridge, uh, reheat them in the oven tomorrow where they'll crisp up nicely, the hot sauce will be all you know, marinated and imbrued in the batter and then me and a whole bunch of people are going to eat them. Uh, so that's the idea. I've got 11 different hot sauces, I'm serving 5 people a piece. So, uh, let's get stuck into it. I think you all remember the bar that we made about staying all night. All right, so that's pretty much the video done and dusted. This has been a, another Waffle Wednesday food porn for you all. Uh, I know I normally close this off with me trying the food, uh, but you can actually see that in the video over here eventually uh, with me and a whole bunch of mates trying and reviewing all these sauces all at once. I'm not going to eat all these right now, um, but I don't want to let you guys down. This is essentially a video about me making and eating food, uh, which is why most of you are here. So I've got the remnants of the Dragon's Fury. I'm going to add a little bit of Chili Bros Fury because I've just this one's just so damn good. It's going to mix that up and brush that on. This last nugget of waffle I have left here. Nice little... Uh, Paste it there, and you'll have to apologize for the single shot because my other camera is being all sorts of mad right now. So here we go. Cheers to you guys. See you guys in the next video. Hush. Mm. Oh, come on. It's good. It's a good burn. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go now.